So, some are wondering what's going on this uh, Saturday, November 16, 2019. Well, I wanted to show you folks um, the new snowshoes I got for the 3500 last summer. The Blizzex had worn out, so I bought these new Firestone Winter Force LT, sized LT23580 R17. And I bought them last summer because I wanted to be able to paint the rims. And I actually had the face of the rims uh, sandblasted because I had so many layers of paint. So that came out well. And I put some new paint on there. It's my usual uh, 7786 smoke gray from Rust-Oleum. As for the center caps, well, I hit it with a dual action sander. Um, this, this one came out the better of all the bunch. But I'll show you the back one in a second. I should have spaced them out better and painted two at a time. I tried painting four of them at a time like a dingling. So what happened is I got the can too close in some instances. Uh, you'll see this more in the back one. You'll see the runs. But thankfully this is just the snow tire. So And the way the, the dish of the wheel kind of hangs over it. So you got to really get up close to notice it. That's probably like one of the upsides of a color like this. And yeah, I kind of notched off the... But again, I don't really care. I'll probably just get some new ones, have someone else paint them for me, because I, uh, hopefully the next set of ones I want to paint the ram's head red, but have the rest of it smoke gray. But that's just an idea for now. I just needed to get new tires. That's why I made my move when I so, did. Actually, uh, turn the wheels so I could shoot the camera straight at the tread so you could see, see it better. So, it's a directional tread with all these sights, and it has the provision for studs if you wish to use them. Uh, I'm not going to use studs. Don't really have the money for it. And uh, it could actually be slippery if you don't have ice. So, this going to be in a frozen lake or something. Not really worth it. But here's the tread pattern. See how skinny this tire is, too. So, it's going to cut through the snow better. That's why I went with this size for my winter tires. I even pinch it with my fingers. This is going to be a very soft tread compound now. Given the amount of driving I do. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I only get one season out of them, but uh, I am on top of the rotation. But there lies the one downside with the directional pattern. Uh, at least with bi-directional patterns, even say symmetrical, you can put it on both sides of the vehicle. So each tire sees each corner at one point in its life, uh, at one point or another. And that gives you longevity. Um, not the case of directional but I have solid axles, so should hold fairly straight and uh, see how this does. And as also implied in the title, I even have a winter spare. And at a quick glance, you can see how much small in diameter the 17-inch wheel sizes that I chose. See, when I stand them up, and not to worry, I've been leaning them here on the bumper. I would never lean it on the paint. But, um, yeah, so let me talk about that for a second. All right, so you, like I just showed, this is a small enough diameter, of enough of a difference that it could actually wreak havoc on the four-wheel drive system. Or even if you only got a two-wheel drive truck, um, limited slip differentials are standard on these Rams. So something like this, much of a difference here, could wreak havoc on your differential. So when you have a full-size spare, it's most imperative that you're as close to the diameter as possible or have a matching you know, tire size it doesn't necessarily have to be the same make and model but the second more important thing is to have the same type and what I mean by that is these are winter tires so I want a winter tire that's not only going to be the same diameter but also be a winter tire I made sure I researched and found a bi-directional winter tire in this case it's a uh, Cooper Discoverer M&S and, and the reason for that even with the same diameter you that one wheel is going to do a lot more work having more traction than the regular all season. So I was able to find a winter tire bi-directional that I could use with these. So that's what I did. That's why I got this particular tire here. Obviously this had been under the truck so it's going to be a bit dirty but yes I have a gloss orange here for my uh, all season spare the 275 7018 I made this yellow. I make them high vis to show their spare tires. Now this was supposed to be a safety green, but uh, Rust-Oleum has been having problems with their spray paint lately. Can just conked out in the middle of the spray job. I was really pissed. 
So I just found this brush paint and I just painted the freaking thing so I could get it out of my garage. And now I'm about to put it under the truck and I wanted to also show a trick so you don't uh, kill your back with these tires. So the first thing you want to do is wind your cable down all the way you can for your spare tire and throw it towards the front of the truck. And then for my next trick, uh, on this particular truck the tire goes face down. Now if you really are, you know, antsy about protecting the finish, maybe you lay a piece of cardboard. I didn't have one. Oh well, that's why I don't waste money powder coating spare tires. Just throw a little paint in if I have to. And plop. And I have a backup camera. So what I'm going to do is I'll back up the truck just enough so the edge of this rim aligns with the bumper and then I should be over the tire fair enough. And then that's how I'm doing it without having to slide the tire, freaking killing my back. This is a decent enough range. Looks like all this gravel kind of creates a ball bearing effect a little bit. <laughs> there we go. So I advise pushing the cable forward. Yes, this is masking tape. So, you just do like so, like you do with any other. It's a bit lighter. Pretty easier to lift than the 18 inch. That's for sure. Alrighty. Yeah, I should be able to start cranking this up. There we go. Always better to have a little extra slack. When you're first doing this. Especially if you're filming like I am. Is any of my fellow elevator men out there who does rope jobs on a regular basis you already know the saying better uh, better a mile too long than an inch too short they say there we go and now this wheel should be a sounding seal center itself that would be really cool they could design this so it can go on the end of a drill so you can crank this up with a drill or something like a cordless drill Man, I may have fab one up myself just trying to guide it so it doesn't wedge into anything yeah very geared down that's why it's so easy to operate the idea is not to pinch my own hand either it's like a son of a gun. Don't ask me how I know that. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pull it out. Yank it out like so. There we go. There's a son bitch under the truck now. That's what it looks like. So there it is. Group Discover M&S. So now I have a tire that will match the diameter of my winter tires. Well, that's all I really had to show for now. So just wanted to show what the um, Firestone Winter Force LT looks like, or at least in that size. And um, just bring out some of the importance of why at the very least, if you're going to run different size tires for your snow tires, you want a spare tire to match the size. The size is more important, the type is the next important, but definitely that same diameter. So you don't wreak any havoc on your limited slip system or your uh, four-wheel drive system. So hopefully that explains why I do what I do. And yes, I have a total of 10 wheels in this truck. Yes, I did check the air pressure on the spare tire. In fact, I did it bright and early. Well, not even bright and early. The sun wasn't even out yet, but uh, it was at its coldest when I put the max 80 PSI that, that tire takes. So, took care of that for anyone else who might be wondering and might have been concerned about that. So anyway, um, hopefully I get to uh, do some filming of this truck in action in the snow. It's Again, things have been very busy for me, but uh, I'll try. I'll try. And... Um, Hopefully I am getting a new camera for next year.